In this lecture, we are going to add a vertical scroll bar to our chat area as well as to the sidebar so that it will be easier for the users to scroll up and down to see old and new messages. So let's go to our application. And in here, in the chat area, we want to display a custom scroll bar. But before that, I want to design how this message box looks like. So what I want is for the received messages, I want to set border bottom to none. And for the sent messages, I want to set border top right to none. So let's quickly go to VS Code. There, let's go to index.css. And here we have send messages. There, I'm going to set border top right radius. So for the send messages, we are going to set the right radius to zero pixel. And what I will do is I'll also set the border radius here from three pixels to 10 pixel. And in the same way for the received messages, we want to set border bottom left radius to zero pixel. Let's save the changes. Let's go to our application. And this is how I want these jets to look like. So you see for the received messages, the border bottom left radius is none. And for the send messages, border top right radius is none. Next, let's also go ahead and show the timestamp when the message was sent or received. Let's go to VS Code. Let's go to our chat.js file. So this chat component. And there, here we are displaying the message text. In the same way, let's go ahead and let's add one more div here. And in that div, we want to display the time when the message was created. For that, we can say message dot created at. Now on this div, I'm going to add a CSS class. And the CSS class, which we want to add here is message timestamp. Let's save this file and let's copy this message timestamp. And what we want is in the index.css, we are going to create that CSS class. And there we simply want to set width. So width should be fit content. Basically, we only want width, which is required for that content to display. And let's also set font size to maybe 13 pixel. Let's save the changes. Let's go to our application. And now it is also displaying that timestamp, but it is displaying after the message. So what we are going to do is let's wrap these two divs within a container div. So here I'm going to create another div and here we are going to close that div. Okay. And let's format it here. Let's save the changes. Now let's go to our application. So now it is appearing below the message. But still, if you see for the sent messages, the timestamp is not displaying properly because I don't want this margin here, which we have. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to set a CSS style dynamically on this div. So here we are going to check if the current user is sender. In that case, we want to set a CSS style and we want to set float to right otherwise if the current user is not the sender if he is receiving the message in that case we want to set float to left let's save the changes now let's go to our application and now it is displaying the times properly now what we are also going to do is we are going to format this time for that let's go to our terminal let me clear it and here we are going to install an npm package called moment so npm install and we want to install moment from npm so this package has been installed let's go back to our application and first of all we want to use moment here in this file so let's go ahead and let's import it first so here i'm going to import moment from moment library and since it is a default 
import we are not going to include it within parenthesis now let's go ahead and let's use this moment that package so here what we are going to do is first of all let me move it to a separate line to make it more readable okay we can do the same thing for above div also all right now we are going to use moment which is a function and to that we are going to pass this message dot created at and on that we are going to call format and there let's go ahead and let's pass hh mm and a basically we only want to display the hours minutes and then am and pm and here it should not be dot it should be colon like this let's save the changes so if we go to our application you will see that the time is being displayed like this now here what i want is let's say if the message is sent or received today i want to show today and then the time if the message was sent or received yesterday i want to display yesterday and the time when the message was received or sent and if the message is received day before yesterday or on previous days in that case i want to show that date and then this time for that let's go to vs code and there let's go ahead and let's write a function so in here i am going to write another function let's call it format time this function is going to receive the timestamp and now we are going to format this timestamp so what we are going to do let's create a variable let's call it now and to get the current time we are again going to use moment and if we don't pass anything here it is going to return us the current time next let's create another variable let's call it maybe difference or diff and here what we are going to check on now we are going to call a function diff okay and there we are going to pass moment and then the timestamp the timestamp which we have received as the parameter to this function so it is going to get that time and it is going to subtract it from the current time and here we want to get the result in days so we will specify days here okay so from the current time this timestamp will be subtracted and it is going to return us the result in days now here we are going to write some if else statement so here we will write if difference if it is less than one in that case we want to return here we will say today and then we are going to return moment of timestamp and then we are also going to format it and how do we want to format it we want to format it in hours minutes and it should come within quotes so let's specify that and we also want to display am of pm so for that we will specify a okay otherwise if the difference is equal to one in that case let me copy this return statement let's paste it here so in that case we want to say yesterday because the day difference is one and we want to display the time format in the same way and here let's use else if and finally let's write an else statement and from there again we are going to return a time but this time we are not going to add today or tomorrow or anything like that so from here we will simply return the time and in that time we also want to display the date so here we will say m m m m d comma hours minutes and am or pm let's save the changes and now we are going to call this format time so let me make this t in caps so we are going to call this format time from here where we want to display the time so instead of writing this logic here we have created a function for that let's call this function and there let's pass message dot created at 
let's save the changes let's go to our application and here we have an error and i think the error is at this line so let's go back to our application let's go to that function okay and from here here we don't need to use these curly braces let's save the changes now let's go to our application and now you will see that the messages which has been sent day before yesterday it is displaying the complete date there okay and for the messages which has been sent yesterday it simply says yesterday and for the messages which will be sent today it will say today now what we can also do here is instead of displaying the complete month name we can format it to display only the three characters of the month the first three characters of the month and now you will see it says it uses only the three characters of the month so this is good this is how i want to display the times all right now let's go back to vs code now we are going to display the custom scroll bar in our chat area so for that let's go to index.css and to display the custom scroll bar we are going to write some css first of all here i'm going to add the body tag i mean i'm going to set some css style for the body and there i'll simply say overflow y to hidden because we don't want to display any default scroll bar okay let's save the changes here now let's scroll down and let's go to the chat area so here we have app chat area now if i go to chat.js let's retract this function let's also retract this get message function and what i want is i want to display the sidebar on this main chat area here okay so let's see where we are writing css for main chat area okay here we have that css so here first of all i am going to set overflow to overflow y to scroll this is the first thing which we need to do and then in order to display the scroll bar i have written some css so let me go ahead and let me copy that css from here let's go to our index.css file and then after this only let me go ahead and let me add that css so what we are trying to do here is on the main chat area we are adding some properties for the scroll bar so width should be 5 pixel then we are also setting the background and the border radius we are setting the background for the scroll bar we are setting its border radius okay so here we are basically designing our scroll bar using this css let's save the changes now let's go to our application and you will see that a sidebar is being displayed here but it is not scrolling at this point that is because let's scroll up and somewhere we are setting the min height so that min height we need to remove we need to set a height here and i am going to set it to 85 vh let's save the changes now let's go to our application and now you can see that scroll bar then i am also going to add some paddings so basically I'm going to add this padding in the main chat area. It's where we have that main chat area now. All right, here, let's go ahead and let's add some padding. Let's save the changes. Let's go to our application. And now you will see there is some padding between the scroll bar and the messages. This is good. Now I also want to add some padding, some margin between this input text area and this chat area so for that again i have written some css so i'm going to set this margin top and we are going to set this on send message div so let me simply copy this margin top let's check if this send message div is there okay it is here so there let's simply add that margin top let's go back to our application and now you will see there is some margin between the input element and the messages so this is how we can add scroll bar to our application 
Now we will also work on adding the scroll bar just like this to the sidebar. But currently I am not interested in that. In the future we will add it. And finally what I also want to do is if I resize this window you will see that this sidebar is not looking good. Right. So what I am going to do is when we are resizing the window at that time I am going to hide this sidebar, I am going to hide this name, this email and I am only going to show the avatar in the sidebar. For that, let's go back to VS Code and there we are going to write some CSS for media query and again in order to save some time, I have already written that CSS so let me grab it from here. Let's go to index.css and let's write it here. Basically what I am trying to do here is if the screen width is less than 1000 pixel in that case we are hiding the user details basically the name and email of the user we are hiding the search area the search text box we are setting the width of sidebar to 15 percent and we are setting the width of chat area to 85 percent if I save the changes now and if we go to our application if I resize it now, this is how the sidebar will look like. Here you will not see the search text box and you will also not see the user details like name and email. You will only see the avatar. Let me actually show you this in Chrome. So if I resize this, this is how it will look like. Okay, so this is also what I wanted to do in this lecture. So now it looks good. We also have the scroll bar here. We are displaying the time when the message was sent and we have also designed the message boxes. So this is all I wanted to do in this lecture. In the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's display the last message which has been sent or received in this chat list. So instead of displaying the email, we want to display the last message. Let's see how we can do that in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.